I'm going to talk to you today about the biggest challenge I've ever had in my career. I'm going to talk to you about something I cannot do alone. I need you all in this room and many more people on the planet. And I'm going to talk, talk to you about big smiles, a magic moment for me and some setbacks we had during this project. So it all started with a task. So I'm an ad man, I, I own an advertising agency and the task which was given to my agency was a global advertising campaign against AIDS without a budget. Who could be so crazy to ask for? It's this gentleman, is called, he's called Michael Stich, or Michael Stich in German, a former professional tennis player, Wimbledon champion, and since more than 15 years he's an activist in AIDS because he lost a friend to the disease. And he said, Michael, we need an international campaign. There are so many good initiatives all around the planet but nothing links them together. We need a campaign. And I said, well, cool, do you have money? No, no, but uh, you are an agency, you are so creative, so give it a try. I said, wow. Well, I can tell you who, who tried it before. It's, uh, uh, the benchmark for me is Bono, the famous singer of U2, a global rock band. And he's working on a project which is called RAD since, I guess, 10 years. He raised 250 million US dollars for the global fund of the AIDS projects. And what he's doing is he's uh, producing together with companies like Apple red products, like the red iPad cover, and uh, the money goes to the fund. He said he's not able to cover the whole world with this project. He's still searching for more, uh, for more power, and he's not able that everybody in the world does know his project. How can we do this? We are a small agency in Germany. He said, come, give it a try. And he gave me a big smile. It was the first big smile in the project. And when I came back to the... Uh, to the agency, I said, enthusiastic to my team, I said, well, we have such a nice uh, task. We can create a global advertising campaign against AIDS with our budget. And they said, wow, cool, and smiled at me and said, okay, give me your brief, and then they, they tried to, to do something. Three weeks later, I get the, the next uh, situation where somebody smiles at me, a young, uh, yeah, I would call him creative technologist, his name is Martin. Almost five years ago, he brought his, a picture of his having an idea and he said, Michael, please take a seat on your table and I will have a, a global AIDS campaign for you in 10 seconds. And he put a piece of paper on my table, took a pencil and made a dot before these three letters and gave me the third big smile in three weeks. And I said, wow, this uh, looks like a domain ending. He said, yeah, it's called top level domain, but it doesn't exist, I said. No, not now, but maybe in three or four years. I said, can you buy it? No, not now, but maybe in three or four years. I said, okay. Once we own it, once we got it, what, what will you do with this? Um, he said, well, I will give it for free to every AIDS organization on the planet. Uh, second, I will try to sell it to as many companies in the world as a second or third domain, redirect it to their first domain, and I will try to convince Google to create a gmail.hiv so that the whole gay community in the world will send their mails with it, uh, spreading out the news that AIDS still is a problem. I said, wow, sounds like a big project. So the issue, why is AIDS still an issue? Um, there are three main reasons. AIDS is losing awareness. Over the last 20 years, kids and young people do not any longer believe that AIDS is still a dangerous disease. Second thing is HIV is on the rise. Not in every country, but in Germany it's on the rise and especially among men having sex with other men. And the worst thing is young people are at risk. I just want to quote one thing. Around 2,100 young people are infected with the virus worldwide every day. So the market, we are talking about a product, a top level domain. I, did, I had no clue how to buy something like this, but my team, they figured out the way, and um, one day there was a situation that the ICANN, it's a company called uh, uh, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, they set the rules for the whole internet on the planet, and they opened a window of opportunities to buy top-level domains, very cheap, 185,000 US dollar plus 50,000 dollar deposit for the case that you get bankrupt. 
And after three months, when they closed their, their window, uh, there was a page of them and they opened uh, to the public how many companies tried to buy a new one. And the shocking news for us was, oh, 1,930 applications for 1,409 new top-level domains. A couple of them for um, non-Latin scripts, so for the first time in history for Chinese uh, uh, language and others. 66 uh, geographic TLDs for cities like .hamburg or .berlin or .nyc. Brand TLDs and uh, generic TLDs. Um, interesting for us, uh, Google and Amazon uh, made applications and a serious number of applications. And very good for us, uh, and which made us really cry loud, was this uh, figure, just one social purpose top level domain. So we were the only organization on the planet try to acquire a top level domain for a social issue. So it's the .hiv initiative, so we call it like this, and um, it's not me. I, as I mentioned, I'm, I'm, I'm not in the position to do it on my own. I, we put together a team of young people which are very, very enthusiastic, and uh, Caroline Silvernag, she's the leader of this team. She's um, since four years with her team on a mission. She really wants to make this a success, and I'm very, very proud to have her. She gave birth to a child during the application process, and uh, she's traveling around the world to spread the news. So what is .hiv so far? We have Facebook fans, we have more than 10,000 pre-registrations, we have national partners, international partners, like UNAIDS or the Deutsche AIDS Hilfe. Raise, we raised money, more than 600,000 euro, but we, I think, already spent uh, most of it. And we, um, yeah, we are the only social, social purpose top level domain worldwide. Lots of companies are supporting us and we need more support uh, because it's uh, a long, long trip we have to face. Some members of the ICANN community said there was no need for new top-level domains. It's great to see that initiatives such as .hiv are giving the whole process a reason. Thanks very much. This was uh, Peter Denegate Prash, the former chairman of ICANN. He told us and we're very proud to get signals like this. But now I come to my magic moment. It was this year's Cannes Lions. Uh, it's a big festival done for the advertising industry. And um, we learned that Bono, the Bono of U2, the Bono of Red, will be there this year to receive an award, a special award. And Caroline, our CEO of .hv, told me, Michael, you have to go to Cannes and you have to talk to Bono. I said, very easy, 10,000 people. Nobody wants to talk to him. I will be the only one. And she said, you, you're an ad man, you will find your way. And on the last day of the ceremony, there was a session with Bono, sitting left. In the middle is Sean Smith, the founder of Vice Media. On the right is Jonathan Ivey, the chief designer of Apple. And they were talking about Red. And I was sitting there together with, I guess, 1,000 people. And I was thinking, oh, what, what can I do? They are talking, and I, I have to talk to him, but when the session is over properly, he will leave. And then there was the window of opportunity on this day, because he stood up and said, well, we need more products. We need more of these red products. And there are so many creative people in this room, and if anybody has an idea for a new product, just raise your hand. And I said, Michael, it's your time. You have just to raise your hand. But as you can see, he showed in this direction, and I was sitting here where the picture was taken, so tough for me. And I said, okay, what can I do? What you can see on the picture on the right side is Jonathan Ivey, a little bit bored, sitting with a big microphone, and then his view made like this. And I took the chance, I said, I need your microphone. And he gave me the chance to pitch my idea to Bono. I said it then to Bono, Bono, we have a product called .hiv, it's the first social purpose top level domain and if you like to have it, you can have it for red. So you will get a red dot HRV for 100 years for free. And then I get some applause and I need water because it's so dry here. Give me just a break. <laughs> it's not good in a TED conference to drink water, but I have to. Mm. Yeah, and then a big applause and everybody said, wow, what a cool idea. And the next day I was on the um, front page of Adweek uh, with the quote how an agency's fight against AIDS led to an unforgettable moment with Bono. And it said, 
It was one of the most uh, interesting and unscripted moments of this year's Cannes Lines that it only happened because one man was willing to make a fool of himself to have safe lives. I need your microphone. So. But coming back, coming back to the task, we need a campaign because we do don't, you don't sell top-level domains without advertising. And coming back to the campaign, we had two starting points. The first starting point was our first customer. It was the first sold domain. It was Amazon.hrv. We were very proud of it. The second uh, starting point was a Hollywood movie. So three years, I'm talking to my team. I said, well, there was this cool movie. It's called Pay It Forward, a small... A uh, kid got the task of his teacher, played by Kevin Spacey, and they, the teacher said, well, you, everybody in my uh, class has to do a social project. And this young kid said, well, I'm 11 years old, and if I do something uh, good, it's not enough. So I do something good to three people, and I ask them to do something good to three other people. So it's a yeah, pay-it-forward mechanism. I said, we need something like this. We are in the internet age, and uh, in the digital age, and we should find something. Then a creative came with the idea, well, we just take Jeff Bezos, our first customer, and he's talking to a, uh, to a video and says, well, I've just acquired .hrv from my Amazon, um, and uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's something very good, and I asked my three friends, Pia Omida from eBay, and Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook, and Larry Page, and I guess they will have the $200, uh, and never forget, I will be the first. And we said, wow, what a cool idea. And five days later, I don't know if it hit uh, Hong Kong in the same power it hit uh, us in Germany, the ice bucket challenge, oh shit. It was exactly the same idea. Mark Zuckerberg was as asking Bill Gates and our idea was, was there, but not for us. It was for the ALS challenge. So, okay, we have another idea. So we need, we need a song. I said we need a song. A song could be a very good idea uh, because every good, big social product has a song. And yeah, the idea was born, a song for the .hiv idea for the World AIDS Day, 1st of December this year. The song is written, the song is produced, done by two very famous uh, German um, guys. At least the left one is one, he's from the Söhne Mannheims, one of the most popular bands, and we are, we are scouting international stars to sing the song for us. Oh shit again, because what happened? Coca-Cola and Red together announced we have five songs for the World AIDS Day to sell them. And I said, okay, well, we're cool, we have another idea. And this time, I said, well, I want to have an idea which nobody on the planet can steal. And um, that's the reason why I start this campaign today together with you. So back to the core idea. It's the dot. The dot is the thing which changed everything. We have the three letters HIV and the dot makes it uh, a new thing the red ribbon of the digital age. And what I do now is I start the campaign. I have my little uh, iPhone here, and um, I do hope that many of you uh, in social networks like Facebook or Twitter or whatever you have, and I start this campaign just in doing a dot in my status. And I ask all of you to do a dot, just a dot, in your Twitter account, in your Facebook account right now, because if we do this, uh, it may be that it could be the best campaign my agency ever did. And um, you can help to raise lots of money. So just do the dot and the rest will follow. In an hour, when some of your friends will ask you, what is the dot? What does this mean, a dot into a Facebook account? Uh, you just uh, write www.my.4.hrv and then this will lead to a campaign page where you can buy your domain, where you can make more dots and where you can learn more about the organization. And I would be very, very happy if at least 500 of you will do this now. So I have just one minute and to, to um, tell you the story will continue. It's the biggest project I'm working on and I think I will work longer than I will work in my agency on this project. And I have just um, three learnings, three takeaways for you. What have we learned so far? AIDS is still a big problem and it loses attention year by year. If you go to Google Trends, you can see that there was a peak whenever there was a World AIDS Day, the 1st of December, but now it's getting to a very low line. Second learning, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge proved the power of the web. You can see that this was a big, big, big thing, but it 
fell down because it, it has no substance. It was a very cool idea. They raised money, but now they are back to normal. Third, we have still a long way to go because what interesting people really is stuff like the iPhone 6, and you can see the iPhone 6 beats the ALS Ice Packet Challenge and uh, AIDS by far. And so I need all of you, I need millions of people on the planet to fight against AIDS, and I'm very proud to talk to you and uh, wish you a good conference for the rest of the day. Thank you very much.